Welcome to Quick Learning. Uh, today we are going to learn another very useful transaction of SAP that we normally use in our PM module. This is IH01 that is used to get a complete hierarchy of any functional location. We will start by writing IH01 in our transaction tab. We will press enter and you will see this window will appear in front of you with the heading functional location structure. So you can get the structure of any functional location using this command and you can get a complete detail of the equipments and uh, the, uh, the working locations, equipments, the other type of details etc. So what you need to do? First of all you have to write your functional location if you know otherwise we will uh, let you know how you can search it manually going down you can see what are the exploits for this data what are the details that you want to see in your data uh, by default the location hierarchy and expand construction type is selected you can select equipment installed and equipment hierarchy as well and it will help you in getting all the details of uh, the equipment that are installed against any function location so what we will do uh, for example we have a basic idea of what function location we are going to search so we will go to we will press this button these two uh, cubicle squares and the next window will appear in front of you where you can search out manually about your function location here we have different uh, uh, options which are available the first is through cost center in which in this you, you can enter the specific cost center and it will show us the function location or we can write the maintenance plant on which that function location exists and the third one is we can just search the function location here in double asterisk and it will show show us the uh, the relevant function location in the other tab we have asset if we have the asset number available we can get the function location we can also get it from the company code and the function location again we can search it manually going next here we have the uppermost function location if we have the structure indicator available then we can found it in this way if we have the function location category then we can search it in this way and so on you know you can just uh, go to any suitable tab uh, it is based upon the data that you have from which you want to search out we can just go to any particular tab and it what it will do it will help us to find the function location so uh, uh, right now i have the maintenance plant that is available what i will do i will come on this tab of the cost center and the maintenance plant i will write 3003 that is the plant that i know i will press enter and we will see that what it has uh, available okay so here you can see that these are the function locations that are available in this particular plant so I can select any one of these for example I have understanding and I want to search that this particular function location this one PRD triple zero nine eight is the my is my required function location I will uh, select this one by pressing this copy button and this function location number will be displayed here what is the next step the next step is I have to press execute button and now it will show me the complete details of this function location what are the equipments that are installed on this function location so this is the function location PRD 0098 and these are the functional equipment that are installed here L6 gear CIP unit capper gasner filler cooling conveyor lubrication K plant pallet conveyor domino stretch wrapper palletizer pack conveyor fill tech and etc so these equipments are available here and you can have complete data of these equipments you can just copy these equipment number and you can use anywhere if uh, you want to use these equipment numbers 
another uh, extra away option that is available here is you can just create any notification or order of for this particular notification from that window as well so what you need to do you have to select any uh, equipment as I have selected and you need to go to go to here on the go to you have the option create notification and create order so you can create any type of notification general or malfunction activity or maintenance request and you can select create order and you can create order directly and it will create uh, notification manually on in the background so this uh, uh, another option that it has given us is to create the notification and to create the order from this window so you have seen that this is very useful transaction code and we are able to get all the details of functional location and all the details of the any equipment equipment number and from there we can just find and create any notification and any order through this transaction so hope this will be very much useful for all of you for any questions you can just write in the comments tab please like and share this video and please subscribe to our channel for any questions and if for any other type of videos or the lessons you can just write in the comments tab and your suggestions and feedbacks feedback are very much welcomed until next time bye bye